Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can go to a website and download all the images there using Beautiful Soup in Python. If uh, you do not have uh, Beautiful Soup already installed, you can just go to your command prompt and uh, type uh, pip install bs4. pip install bs4. Then you can do the same for url lib and then you can do the same for request. And then you can start using all these packages by importing them into whatever it is that you'll be using. I'll be using a uh, PyCharm for this uh, for this video. Now the first thing you're going to do is uh, say import BS4 and then import URL the request imp uh, from URL the request import URL open then from BS4 import beautiful soap. The first thing you're going to do is uh, make a variable called URL and then uh, this URL is going to be the URL of the website that we are going to use. So this is the website here. Yeah, you can find the link in the description below. Uh, so we're just going to copy this link and uh, go back to our editor and paste it in there. Now the next thing we're going to do is make another variable called page. And you see, page is equal to urllib.request.com. Dot URL open and then in the parenthesis just pass that URL variable that we made above. Now that we've made a connection to the website, we can uh, pass our HTML by saying uh, page soup is equal to beautiful soup, and then in the parenthesis we can say page. And uh, HTML parser. Now let's make sure that we've made a connection to the website by uh, saying print page soup. And then we will run our code and see what happens. When we run our code, it prints uh, this uh, source code, the HTML code that's being used on the website. You can also this, see this source code when you go to the website and type uh, control U. This is the exactly some code that we printed in our editor. What we want to get are the pictures of all these drones that are being sold on this website. There are many of them. I don't know if they are 36 or 50. We're just going to get them all in one click. Now, how do we do that? Just uh, right click on the image and uh, click inspect. And then we can see the source code again. When we look at the part that's being highlighted on the source code, we can see that uh, this image has a tag of IMG and the source of the image is also written there. Now let's try to find the div tag that does get all the images. Uh, this one here, no, this one only contains this first image. Uh, this one on top here, yeah, this one has got all the images. As, as you can see, when I when I hover over that div tag, all the images are being highlighted. So that's the div tag that we are going to use in our code. So we can say uh, image items uh, is equal to page soup dot find. And uh, inside the parenthesis, we can say uh, div and uh, in these uh, carry brackets, we can put the class of the div. And the class of this div, we can just uh, go back to the website and uh, copy it. Go over there and uh, double click on it, and then right click and then say copy. Come back and then paste it in there. Uh, we can make another variable and call it uh, image div, and this is going to be equal to the div that has got each one of those images and uh, this uh, the div uh, down there which is called item container it's the one that has get each one of those individual images so we say image div is equal to uh, image items uh, dot find all find all the divs that has got uh, each one of those images and we just pass them by saying uh, by stating the class of the div, and uh, the class we just paste it in there. Now this way of writing is just the same as the one I used above. You can choose which one you think is better for you. 
but for this one down below you have to uh, write an underscore there together with a class I don't know which one you prefer but personally I prefer the method above but you can use whichever you prefer they both work just fine so basically what we're doing is uh, we are going first into the div that has got all the images which is the one with the class that we use on top there and then inside the div we want to find all the divs that contain each one of those individual images and those divs are called by a class called item container now we can use a for loop and say for an image and uh, a image div the images uh, they are going to be equal to uh, img.find we are going to find everything that has got a tag that has the image and uh, we find the tag in our source code the tag is called img also so that's the one we're going to write in the parenthesis say img.find img now let's just print the, those uh, img tags and see what happens so we say print uh, images now we run our code and see what happens uh, Oops, uh, we've got an error. Where where is it? Now let's uh, let's see. Okay, it's uh, over here. We're supposed to say image items dot find all. Let's run it again and uh, see what happens. And uh, it prints all the IMG tags. Uh, these are the tags that has got all the images. There could be thirty something or fifty something images here. There could even be hundreds. The next thing we are going to do is get the source of each one of those images by saying uh, image source and uh, for the sake of convenience I think uh, we need to change this variable on top here let's just say image tag yeah sounds better and this one down here is going to say image source is going to be equal to image tag dot get the source of the image or SRC now we can print the source of each one of those images by saying print uh, source we run our code and uh, see what happens oops we get another error uh, oh here it's supposed to be image source and uh, it's supposed to say image tag on top here as well sorry for the mistake now we run it again and then we get uh, these sources of these images now as you can see uh, they don't look like a normal link to a website uh, to be able to get the images we need to change this link we can do that by adding an HTTPS uh, at the beginning there just before the forward slashes so well, let's first uh, get rid of this and uh, we can say if uh, the image source if uh, the first index in the image source is equal to uh, forward slash that's how you refer to the first uh, index if uh, the first index is equal to the forward slash and then our image is going to be equal to HTTPS plus the link of that but uh, plus the source of that uh, of that individual image otherwise or else the image is just going to be equal to the source of that image now we can print uh, the sources of this image images again by saying print image when we run it we see that uh, the links of these images have changed now they all start with an HTTPS this is a normal link to a website now we can uh, copy this one and see the image itself in a browser copy it I'll open a new link in the browser open a new tab in the browser and then paste that link and there we have it our image now we can download them you can do this one by one but it's gonna take a long time so it's better to use our script to download these images 
So, how do we go about uh, saving all these uh, pictures to our directory using the same script? Uh, we can do this uh, by first uh, opening a file, making a file in the direc directory, and let's say uh, the file name is equal to. Uh, by the way, we are going to give random names to these files, so let's just uh, go on top of the for loop and say i is equal to 1. So we can uh, first give a name to the file by saying file name is equal to 1. And then we can say, uh, we can increment i by saying i plus equal to 1. In this way, the, uh, all the pictures are going to be named from 1 to whatever number they are. If they are 100, they'll be named 1 to 100. Now we can make a file in the directory with the intention to write to it by saying uh, f uh, image file is equal to open. We first open the file and then we pass in the, the file name uh, plus dot jpeg because we want to save all these pictures into a jpeg format. And because we want to write to this uh, file, say comma uh, yb. And uh, because uh, this uh, i is a number here, so we need to add uh, a string here. So this file name should be should be a string. So we write str. Now that we've opened this file, we can write to it by saying uh, saying our uh, uh, image file dot write uh, in the parentheses uh, URL lib dot uh, request dot uh, url open and then we pass in that uh, yeah that image and then we say dot read and uh, every time after writing to a file, you want to make sure you close it. So we say uh, image file dot close. Uh, before we run it, let's just make sure everything is correct. And uh, let's see, uh, we forgot to put a dot there bef uh, before JPEG. Let's put it uh, dot JPEG. And uh, uh, let's just uh, remove this string here and uh, put it on uh, on top there. Say file name is equal to the string of i. And uh, on top here, let's just say uh, print image so that we can see the images being printed on the console while they are being saved to our directory. Now we made another mistake here. It's supposed to say i uh, plus equal to one. That's how you increment a variable. Now we run it again. Uh, this time we should have no errors. As you can see, uh, it's uh, printing uh, all the sources of the images as well as saving them in the directory. And uh, when it's done, we can go to our directory and see if it's print uh, if it saved all the images. And there we have them, all the images from number one to number thirty-six. Now we can open each one of these images just to be sure that they are really images. And uh, there it is, a picture of a drone. You click next, another drone, next, next, next. Uh, that's about it. Alright, uh, that's all for this video. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me in the uh, comments below and don't forget to subscribe. You can find all the links to the website and the code and uh, if you have any, uh, any questions or projects that you think I can do for you, uh, you can find my email in the description below as well. Thank you and I'll see you next time.